How to Become a Freelancer in Data Science Hi, everybody. If you're looking to become a full-time data scientist and AI expert from scratch, then you are in the right place. Today, I'm about to reveal the secrets of how to become a freelancer in data science. Let's first consider the global perspective for a moment. In the backdrop of the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic crisis, countless tech companies are resorting to mass layoffs simply to stay in business. And with governments in many nations encouraging people to work from home, the gig economy has been growing relentlessly. In the prevalent gig economy, most companies prefer hiring freelancers on a temporary basis to complete small projects. They have become increasingly risk adverse and they think twice before hiring full-time employees. Today, I'm gonna to share with you some useful tips on how to become a freelancer in data science. Why working as a freelancer in data science may be the perfect career path for you? Data science and data analysis are on the rise. Companies of all sizes from all industries are increasingly using data analytics. The use cases typically include examining historical transactions and events, understanding emerging trends in customer behavior, and forecasting the future. Nowadays, advanced tech devices such as physical sensors and cookies on website browsers are collecting data in real time. As a result, there is a rise in opportunities to make more informed, accurate data-driven business decisions. Most people pursuing a career in data science think of getting into a full-time job first. They imagine an in-office role that presents them with all the perks normally found at tech firms. But there's an alternate career path that provides increased freedom and flexibility. Working as a freelancer in data science. Freelancers are typically self-employed. They sell their time and services to businesses on a contractual basis. Even before the pandemic crisis, the gig economy was sizable. In fact, during the last five years, there has been a steady growth in the popularity of freelance jobs. According to the Silicon Republic, a leading online publication in Europe, approximately one-third of workers freelance. Another interesting piece of information, again, according to the Silicon Republic, is that almost half of the millennial populace is pursuing freelance work. Pick a niche. Picking a niche is the first step to becoming a freelancer in data science. Data science is a vast ocean. Almost every data science professional can build a rudimentary data warehouse, implement linear regression from scratch, create a dashboard, and train a convolutional neural network, CNN. So to reach your potential clients, you'll need to create a marketing plan that is dedicated specifically to their problems. You may be wondering, is picking a niche important? Yes, of course it's important. The more focused you are, the better you can market your services. What is the reaction you want from a potential client visiting your business website? The potential client must be impressed with the unique and tailored solution you offer. Your services page, more on that in a moment, should target a specific set of clients and address their immediate needs, and your potential clients should make their decision to hire you or contact you immediately. Well, actually, their decision should be automatic as soon as they see your services page. Don't get the false impression that picking a niche in data science will imprison you. No, it won't. You don't need to be doing the same thing right through your freelance career, and you don't need to be known for doing just one thing. What it means is the clients you genuinely care about will find you easily. And once you're through the door, it's simpler to build up trust. You can work with the same clients on different projects in different niches. The only prerequisite is you need to execute the first project successfully for your clients to hire you again in the future. Some examples of data science niches include building data warehouses for FMCG businesses, predicting rare events in e-commerce and retail stores, purchase, cart abandonment, churn, fraud, etc., building recommendation engines for business websites, sports data analysis, predicting the number of patients in a hospital, client classification and insurance, customer behavior analytics. Each one of these niches relies on a specific area. Pick a niche that you are comfortable with and pick an industry that you really care about helping. Let's now move on to the most important part of becoming a freelancer in data science a step-by-step -step guide to launch your career as a freelancer in data science. In the highly digital intensive work environment of today, a strong online presence is a prerequisite for becoming a freelancer. 
Remember, as a freelancer, you might not work at your employer's office premises. You'll be working from your home office most often. So, having a strong online presence makes a big difference. In fact, your online presence, or lack of it, determines the quality and quantity of work you can get as a freelancer. Start your business website. The first step to getting new clients as a freelancer in data science is to have your own business website. Yes, I call it your business website, not your personal website. The reason is your main intention of having this website is for business promotion and development. Your business website will work like your portfolio. Your potential clients can see your work at any time from people anywhere in the world. This is really your biggest priority as a freelancer. You want more people to be able to see your best work. Hostinger and SiteGround are the top, not the cheapest, web hosts at the moment. Now, you may be wondering, but what will I upload on my business website to showcase as my portfolio to potential visitors on my website? This is where AI Sciences can make launching your career as a freelancer in data science very simple. Every AI Sciences course has a few mini-projects, at least. Each mini-project covers a different interesting topic, and each project has been designed to help you refine your artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning skills. You can apply these skills in the real world. That is one advantage. The other advantage is these mini-projects present you with a chance to enrich the portfolio on your business website. You can demonstrate to your clients the work you've already done as a data science trainee, and they will get a good idea of your capabilities as a trained data science professional. The point I want to make is having a portfolio on your business website makes it easier for you to find paying clients as a freelancer. You can check out different projects and even quote a higher price if you have the expertise in a specific area. Overall, the Learning by Doing courses by AI Sciences will help you become a freelancer in data science faster. The right design for your business website. The structure and design of your business website are important. You can easily rise above the competition if your web pages present you as a brand and promote what you do. When developing your website, you need to focus on certain elements. The first element is the home page of your website. Your potential clients need to quickly understand who you are and the data science subsections you specialize in. As a freelancer in data science, you should make your homepage copy data science centric without using too much jargon. A well optimized homepage can engage potential clients. The services section comes next. Make this section as detailed and as clear in every aspect as possible. Mention every service you will provide. A well-optimized service page can not only engage potential clients, but also make them seriously consider using your services. The price section of your business website is the most critical element. Many freelancers seem to think that they can easily win more clients by lowering the price of their services. But in the data science universe, this is a completely wrong move. When you lower your price, clients will be apprehensive about working with you. They will think you are desperate and you lack the skills to execute their project successfully. Low prices typically exhibit a low self-confidence and low self-esteem. And when you offer your services at a low price, it shows your clients that you put a low value for the work you do, as well as on your experience. Charge your client based on the amount of work you will need to do and the time you will need to invest. Perform in-depth research before you arrive at the best price. Check out the price that other data science professionals who have similar skills like you charge. Ideally, you need to check at least half a dozen websites of data science freelancers. Calculate their hourly rate based on the prices displayed on their webpage. Initially, you can keep your prices lower. The reason is a competitive price makes you attractive in the eyes of potential clients. Remember, you can always increase your price after you've established yourself. The Projects section of your business website You'll need to create the Projects or Portfolio section of your business website with the utmost care. Use your portfolio to highlight the best projects you've completed. The more projects you showcase, the more leads you can generate. Your portfolio section helps potential clients to assess the level of your expertise. As a fresh data science freelancer, you can use the projects you have completed during your training programs as portfolio pieces. Potential clients will understand your current position, but once you complete a couple of projects as a freelancer, you can display them too.
Client Testimonials. This is another important website element. After you complete a project as a data science freelancer successfully, request your client for a testimonial. This is a proven method to demonstrate your professional skills to potential clients. Client testimonials increase your value. Favorable reviews and trust ratings show that your business website has value. First-time website visitors will believe you and trust you as a reliable data science freelancer. Contact section. The contact section is another important element of your business website. A contact form presents potential clients with an easy way to get in touch with you right from your website. And a contact form gives potential clients the impression that you are a thorough professional. Link the contact form to your business email address. You can also include a link to your LinkedIn profile page in this section. Replying promptly to emails from potential clients is vital. On a busy day, a potential client might contact several data science freelancers, and if they are in a hurry, they will not hesitate to hire the first freelancer who replies to their email. You now have completed the first step in becoming a freelancer in data science. You have created your own business website, and you have listed the projects you have completed and uploaded client recommendations to. The next step is to register with a few freelance platforms and look earnestly for gigs. Register with top freelance platforms and take up projects that match your skills best. The top five freelance platforms for data scientists are Fiverr, Upwork, AngelList, Toptal, and Coding Ninjas. Let's take a look at each one of these renowned freelance platforms. Fiverr. Fiverr, a freelance services marketplace, offers a broad range of data science projects at competitive prices. This platform is different from other freelance platforms. Unlike other platforms, you don't need to browse data science projects or job descriptions. You can offer a freelance data science gig at a certain price point. A prospective client will contact you directly. The top data science services on Fiverr include data source connectivity, interactive or animated visuals, model validation or testing, model documentation, toolbar integration, and web embedding. Upwork. Upwork, a global leader in the gig economy, has several hundred listings for data science professionals. You need to create your profile on Upwork first. You'll also need to enrich your portfolio section on this platform. After the completion of these prerequisites, you are ready to start. You bid on suitable data science projects by submitting a cover letter and attaching the most relevant portfolio items that match the project requirements. Gradually, you can improve your search rankings and profile discoverability by building your client and experience list. During the last few months, it's become more difficult for fresh data science freelancers to receive approval on Upwork. The initial application of a lot of freelancers isn't being approved as Upwork has become highly selective and quality conscious. You can easily sidestep this issue by choosing multiple work subcategories and listing the maximum number of skills. You will certainly boost the chances of acceptance of your freelancer profile on Upwork by doing these correctly. The other thing is you will need to create a compelling job title with a matching level of specificity, describe your academic and employment history in great detail, and build a portfolio with several samples of work you have completed previously. Angel List. The first step on this platform is to create your profile. Your profile unlocks every data science job on Angel List. Startups will know your story when they see your profile, and you can also browse through different freelance job opportunities. Your profile includes several personal website preferences and permits you to link the projects you have completed in the past. The main advantage of freelancing on this platform is you can submit applications and send messages directly to hiring managers. You can also propose your own projects to the business contacts you develop on this platform. Toptal. Toptal is a premium platform that matches top data science freelancers with renowned brands, such as Pfizer, Zendesk, and Airbnb. The main downside of this highly competitive platform is its acceptance rate, a very low 3%. Coding Ninjas. This freelance platform runs an intense selection process. You need to complete a 15-minute English test followed by a live interview. You then complete a test project. The main feature of Coding Ninjas is data science freelancers are matched to projects based on their skills, availability, and the length of the project. Also, this is the only platform that does not take a cut of your payment. There are several other platforms in addition to the ones covered here. 
You can get information on these by joining data science Facebook groups for freelancers, digital nomads, and remote workers. The best way to stay updated on new freelance opportunities is to join online data science communities and read the most recent posts from members. If you're interested in learning more about becoming a data scientist, then be sure to check out our courses at the first link in the description. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos helping you to start your data science and AI career and more. Check out this playlist of our data science and machine learning lessons and see you in the next video. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.